Greetings YouTube, Simon here, and welcome to another Final Fantasy VIII Remastered video. As always, a big thank you to everybody who supports the channel as a YouTube member or Patron. Now, in a previous episode it was demonstrated how you can manipulate the RNG of Final Fantasy VIII Remastered to force spawn rare encounters on the world map as many times as you wish without being interrupted by other enemies. Now since this RNG manipulation method was discovered by and brought to our attention by one of my viewers, Ryan Monteith, it has been suggested that henceforth this method should be known as the Monteith method. In a nutshell, the way this method works is that once you encounter a rare enemy on the world map, if you escape from that encounter and save your game, once you have quit to the main menu and reloaded your game, the next enemy you encounter in the same place will indeed be the same rare enemy, and you can repeat that process infinitely until you farm that rare enemy as much as you would like to. Now at the time it was assumed by me and perhaps many others that this would be a great method for mugging enemies but not actually for killing them since it was assumed that by killing them the enemy would not respawn. However, I have done some further testing and that's bad news for T-Rex or since he's less of a dinosaur and more of a guinea pig for this particular video. But I have since come to the following conclusions, which in my view make this method of RNG manipulation, the Monteith method, even more impressive than it was before. In fact, my conclusion is that there is simply nothing you can do to the rare enemy that spawns that, if you're using the RNG manipulation method, will actually prevent it from spawning repeatedly as many times as you need until you've got all the items that you require from it. You can draw magic from the enemy, move that magic over to another party member from the field menu, and then reset the spawn in order to draw again. Then you can go ahead and kill the enemy. You do not have to kill the enemy. You can escape from battle. You can damage the enemy and then card it. You can kill the enemy with using magics, physical attacks, limit breaks, anything you choose to do. However you end the battle, you can actually then go ahead and respawn the encounter by saving your game, quitting to the main menu and reloading. As you can probably imagine, the Monteith method leads us to many usable applications and I'll be interested to hear how you might use this method in the comment section. Unfortunately, the Monteith method isn't perfect and there are some limitations. Now, I have tried to farm several different rare enemies and out of all of the ones I've tried so far, there is one enemy or uncommon slash rare enemy that does not seem to spawn as expected using this method and that is the Marlborough enemy which can spawn in the forests around Chocobo Sanctuary. My own suspicions about this particular enemy is that its spawn pattern is not actually the entire forest. As a matter of fact, I believe it exists in small blocks, which means that there are certain footsteps that you can take in that forest where that enemy cannot spawn. Now, that means that it's not going to be consistent with this method, probably because those barriers aren't exactly visible to the player as to exactly which parts of the forest it spawns in. But if you can find out for sure where it spawns and just literally run on that same spot, then maybe you could get this method to work for that enemy, but I wasn't able to do so. And the other issue I have experienced is that I've not been able to get this to work consistently in uh, areas other than the world map. So dungeon areas, inside areas, just general field areas where enemies spawn, I've not been able to get this to work. Now, I have tested this since I expect this would be the only place it would work in areas and rooms where the uh, monster that spawns is by a save point. Because if you have to cross areas to save, I suspect that's going to manipulate the RNG outside of our favour. And yet, even so, I have not been able to get it to work, as I say, consistently. But maybe I've just been messing up and more testing is required. If you find you do have more luck with indoor areas and using the Monteith method, then please do share in the comment section if you've done anything to get that to work or if I was just doing things poorly. But overall, I think this is simply a fantastic means of being able to attain hard to come by items that would otherwise be difficult because the enemies you steal or get drops from do not spawn regularly. I mean, some enemies in this game are very, very rare spawns. So this is going to come in really handy in those cases. But as I say, please do share in the comment section if you have any ideas or applications that this method will be useful for. I'm sure that will help many a player out. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>